We'll call the meeting to order. Um, it's the East Long Meadow Housing Authority. It's 4.30. I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, first, I'll start off with the roll call. Um, we have Len Booth, the Executive Director of the East Long Meadow Housing Authority. James Mariardi, uh, I'm here. Um, Danielle Travalli is present. And Vincent Mondolini is present. And my name is Joseph Diascoli, the chairperson. Um, first on the agenda is to is the tenant to discuss safety issues regarding the McLaren House. And uh, we have Nancy here. I'll have you give your first name. But Nancy, before um, I have you start speaking, um, I just wanted to reiterate to the board um, the policy regarding tenant participation at board meetings. And this is coming directly from an attorney um, from the state of Massachusetts. So I'm going to read it off. Um, so Nancy will get the understanding and the rest of the board will also understand. During the tenant comment portion of our board agenda, the board will first hear from a spokesperson for the recognized local tenant association. The Housing Authority urges all tenants to contact their LTO, which is the local tenant association, officers if they have any concerns so that the LTO can coordinate and streamline tenant comments at each board meeting. If there is not a currently function, functioning LTO, or if there are tenants who wish to speak individually and separately from the LTO, the board chair will recognize such tenants in turn. While not a requirement, the board suggests that tenants bring a summary of intended discussion topics to the executive director in advance for inclusions on the agenda. A week before, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All tenants should note that the Board of Commissioners will not hear any individual tenant complaints, but instead will address only issues that directly bear on common rights, duties, or interests of tenants and their household members. Reviewable issues regarding individual tenants, status, rights, duties, or welfare must initially be addressed with the authority staff. Tenants who remain dissatisfied with the staff decision may file a request for a grievance hearing with our independent grievance panel slash hearing officer. Tenants who, who remain dissatisfied after a grievance panel hearing officer renders its decision may appeal that decision to the Board of Commissioners in accordance with the grievance regulation at 760 CMR 6.08. Board members may not become involved with individual tenant complaints before an appeal to the board, as that will require recusal from any later board appeal. Generally, the board chair will make decisions on which matters are grievable. If there is disagreement among board members, the board will vote on whether a tenant issue is grievable. The board chair will supervise all tenant discussions, ensuring that individual tenant privacy and confidentiality is protected. The chair will not tolerate spontaneous utterance, shouting, interruptions, and the like, anything like. Under Mass General Law, Chapter 39, Section 23C, no person shall address a meeting of a public body without permission of the chair, and all persons shall, at the request of the chair, be silent. If any tenant or member of the public disrupts the meeting, the chair may order the person to leave. If the person refuses to leave, the chair may request assistance from the police to remove the individual. Um, so going back to item number one, um, I'll have Nancy introduce herself and um, we'll go from there. Well, I think one of the things um, when I addressed the board on Could you please state your name, please? My name is Nancy DiGiorgio. I live at 85 Quarry Hill. It's the McLaren House. I addressed the board about bona fide safety issues that I actually talked with the town manager, the town council president, I have talked with the head of the senior center. I have talked with um, lawyers. I have talked with a number of people. Nobody 
has ever said that I did not have the right to address the board in terms of the information that you just read. I did contact you in April. I came here to say I'd already did petition you. I talked to uh, Evelyn Messiah, I believe her name is, at Maha, she's a uh, mass housing. She said that I should directly contact you, which I did. It happened, the letter did not go to the correct address. I was given an incorrect address by the town, not my fault, but when I came in, and this is on record, um, that showed your demeanor was absolutely not something that was compatible with what I understood the Mass Housing Authority to, as you put in there, um, there is no tenants association here that actually has been given a copy of the Maha policies. The, the tenants, as well as the tenants association, are supposed to be included in all decision making when it comes to capital improvements. Do you guys know this board? Do you, do you have this information? All right. That's not my fault I in whatever I, town, it, excuse me, I, I have to finish. I only have 15 minutes, but I first asked for a second meeting because I want you, sir, and your board, you have had a whole month to address the issues that I raised. They were nine. So, now you've got 15 minutes uh, <laughs> to well, do well, so. I, I'm going to stop you right there, Nancy, first of all. Um, I'm allowing you to 15 minutes, but no, by it, law, this is not well, part of my 15 minutes. This is your 15 uh, minutes. I'm no. sorry. As you, I mentioned, you and to I you, have some very different information. As I mentioned to you at the last board meeting, for you to speak at this board meeting, I wanted in front of the board your concerns f for your next speaking, um, in which that has not been provided to us. I have already uh, listed, sir, ma'am, since I, I, April. Ma'am, if you're going to interrupt me one more time, I'm going to ask you to leave. Okay. The concerns that you brought up at last board meeting, the only one concern that I believe that you may, uh, that you've stated was probably the smoking issue in which the thing that I would say is that you need to give the executive director the names of these individuals that you are claiming that are smoking on the property so that the executive director can send individual letters to these individuals um, and then you know the executive director will follow up um, with them um, and if they are still in violation of the smoking policy that is instituted at the East Long Meadow Housing Authority, then the executive director will take the necessary steps, mm -hmm. present it to our attorneys, to present it to the housing court to hopefully get a decision um, if it's proven that they are in violation um, and go for the eviction. So my thing is I think that is the only topic from the last board meeting that we need to address, and I'm addressing that to you right now, is that the other issues that you have brought up, they were mo mostly maintenance issues um, in which in regards to any maintenance situations, those issues need to be provided to the executive director. Why don't you director. look at me, sir, when you're talking? I am trying to think of what the word I'm saying out of my mouth, mm -hmm. ma'am. But you've never done that the whole time. Oh, uh, yeah, ma'am. You've never so, talked to me. So I'm sitting this, right across So from this me. is the information I'm giving to you, mm. that if you can give those names to Ms. Booth, she will act upon those. So... I think the board, if I'm well, not I mistaken, I think those are the only issues. Well, there was uh, 
mainly it's maintenance issues. What so, about the, the quality? Like the hot water. What about the equality? Uh, At the bottom of your um, letterhead, so it says you're a sewer equal. cleaned or something. So those are maintenance issues. What about the tenants? That and the frost free refrigerator or whatever. Well, it also, I mean, you bring that up, sir. That's valid. I mean, the I, no, wait a minute. McLaren that's what you talked about. Please. People okay. at McLaren well, House talk. have oh, been speaking. defrosting their own refrigerators, and if they have PCAs, they have to have them do it. That money comes out of the state. Okay? I figured out over seven years, six PCAs every month, because that's the policy, costs over $40,000. When in fact, the only reason why that I was told that people are now getting full-size frost-free is because the PCA's agency will not allow them to do that anymore. Okay, I was told this directly. So, By who? An agency representative. Oh, okay, but, but an agency representative is not no, an employee of the No, let's go back the, to the, the $40,000. Sir, but. let's look at the facts. How is it year after year you ask seniors, okay, who have are ill, have their PCAs, this money is coming out of public money, when if they had a frost-free fridge, they would have to not have to do that. But let's... You know, that's something, obviously, there are certain facts that you don't want to address. And you know what? That is something there are uh, people interested who would like to know why. So, okay. Um, let's go back to the fact that there are two tenants who were given full-size, frost-free fridges. They happen to be white. Mm -hmm. There's two tenants. I'm going to stop you right there, ma'am. No, I'm stopping you right there. That's not anything that's detrimental towards yes, the housing authority. Yes, it is. This is an equality issue. People think that in this day and age, that is an issue safety first. is something that has to do with equality. Nancy, I'm, this is going to be the last time. Okay, this is going to be the last time. This, the last is, last this is exactly why this has to be recorded. That is fine. This is the last comment I'm going to be making to you. You have three minutes to address anything that is not maintenance issues, anything that's detrimental towards the housing authority. If there is nothing there, ma'am, then I'm gonna ask you to wrap it up. So So you're telling me that your position just on the passive smoking, uh, passive smoking, respiratory and cardiovascular disease, lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, the list goes on and on. This is something issued by the public health department. You know there's people smoking. You now have these cameras, which by the way, why were we not notified? Somebody comes into your home and there's four people with ladders and they're banging and taking things and it's like, wait a minute, how come we were not notified that now we can't even walk down our hallway without being video cammed? We have, and the, the guy left all his paperwork, I see there's cameras now across all these buildings focused on McLaren House and it's like, why? It took how many months to get the floodlight in the back patio installed? It, oh, almost a year. And it was just done yesterday, okay? It took takes that long and you're worried about safety and you have no compassion, you have no understanding. And I was so amazed. To, does the board here have the training manual? that is supposed to be given to board members, 97 yeah, I got pages. 40 pages. 97 <laughs> pages. I got 40 pages. I didn't get the rest yet. I'm a new member. 97 pages that says there is supposed to be a working relationship that is democratic. You're not the only one that gets to be angry, darling. That when you have an issue, you should be able to immediately have it addressed. And it's not. 
Ramona doesn't know that there is a whole section in this that says she is supposed to be working daily with one? you guys when you make decisions about capital improvements. We should have been notified before the installation at McLaren House of this um, cameras. You have a bunch of old people that are really ill. We don't have our own bathrooms. They go down the hallway in whatever matter of dress. They're now on cameras. So now we have to get dressed, put, do our hair, do our makeup so we can go down the hall because we're on cameras. I mean, hello. So we should have been notified even before According to your manual, do you have it, sir? Did you give a, do you have this? Uh, right here. 97, no, it's 97 <laughs> pages. And if you have it it's and warm, you've been it? referring to it, your demeanor would be a lot different. You would be say, yes, let's work together. You have these issues. Is that this the is same year, by the way? You know, they have a new one. It's about 200 pages. Did you know that? I mean, I, I what hate I to want, interrupt, what but I we're want talking the board about to refer to, to is simply. No, well, it, this man stops me in the hallway. I, I didn't recognize you. I was in here a few yeah. weeks ago. She and wants he says, my racial me. I don't. I don't know who you are, and you start talking to me. You I said, "How are you?" You say, we, "No, you didn't say that." You said, "We can't do nothing." We have no voice here. Things don't change. That's exactly what you said. Okay, and that's I figured what you think I said. That's, <laughs> you're on the board. and <clears throat> Anyway, I the just point joined. is, if you actually read this, the part about how the Tenants Association is supposed to like, um, be involved in capital improvements before they happen, they're supposed to be oh, a discussion. If, I got big shoulders. I got a lot of money here. Well, well, Nancy. You know, it's, I, I'm gonna, but it, you don't understand. There are situations of of things that are going on that I still <coughs> want to know why. Well, Nancy, I am not given any reasonable explanations. Nancy, I'm going to ask you. Your time is up. I've read what the tenant policy is. Any concerns that you may have. You can bring it to your local tenant organization, in which they can. Uh, What's my local? I don't have any information on that. What's my you local? You mentioned tenant? the lady's name. It's Ramona, who is your. Oh, and she. What did she tell me? I said, "Have uh, well, you ever come before the board?" She said, "No, because Booth has never allowed anybody to uh, ever come before the board." I think that is uh, <laughs> misinformation what, that you've been given. That's what Ramona told me. Well, I think that's misinformation that you've you have been given. Um, I'd like to thank you for the time that you have given given us. Uh, as I mentioned, please go through the but local tenant organization. But I also would organization. like to be sure that each of you go online and get this and read what is supposed to be the working demeanor between a board chairman, the person who is supposed to be the executive director, and the tenants and the tenants association. You were not doing that, Mr. Descoli. Well, you were not doing that, Ms. Booth. I hope I feel No, you were not. Unfortunately, if that's the way you feel, uh, I I'm have sorry. presented actual okay. information that says that. All right, ma'am. I'm going to ask you. You've you've presented, and I'm going to ask you to be excused. It is called and, the Massachusetts and, Department of Housing and Community Development Training Manual for Local Housing Authority Board Members, 2014. If you say there's a Another one that came out. This That's, is the I just one. Found out this myself. is the one the I Mass just, Housing told me about. I just got this. So if there's a new a one, then one. then th that is correct. Mass Housing is not us. We're through the Department of Housing Community Development. That is totally two different organizations. Oh, That's okay. Mass Housing. So. Um, well, see, this is the thing that is the conundrum, and this is what has to absolutely. Ma'am, I've given you Nancy. I'm being very patient. I've You're given not you patient. I've, I've given you the 15 <laughs> you minutes. Let you let me speak. You have not given us this, the information that I requested at the last month, so I'm going to excuse you. You didn't give me gonna, the information I requested. Yes, I did, ma'am. No, you did not. I indicated to you to please submit the names to the so, of the individuals. Okay, this is the wrong. But you need to tell me, sir, because here I am, Mass this naive housing, person trying to Mass get. Mass housing is a totally different organization. Then who are you? We're the Department of Housing Community Development, DHCD. 
And who do you report to? I don't report to anybody, ma'am. I'm the chairman of the board. <laughs> you, you have to have somebody in the governor's office or somewhere. I want a name, please. I don't report to anybody. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, the Department of Housing and Community Development is not this complex. We get our funding through the Department of Housing and Community Development. We do not get our funding through Mass Housing. This is Massachusetts Department of Housing and Community Development. That's a different organization. So what is your organization? Department of Housing, DHCD, okay. Department of Housing and Community Development. Now how does that differ from what I'm reading? Department of Housing and Community Development. Is that the mass housing? No, I don't know what she's yeah. reading. It's well, I mean, if it's exactly what is being said. Mass housing is a different agency in which they do have funding. This is my, the Department of Housing and Community Development. You said Massachusetts. <laughs> Aren't we in Massachusetts? Yes, but there is a mass housing, ma'am. Totally different organization. And so, what? who governs all well, I have an local, agenda right now, ma'am. Who governs all these local housing authorities? DHCD does. And what is the name of the person that oversees that? I was the governor. The governor okay, oversees well, the whole thing. That's good. I have that name. <laughs> Thank well, you, you very know what? Much. It's been such an amazing eye opener to understand in this day and age that we deal with all these alternative facts and how that's being supported. Thank you so much. Thank you for very much, Nancy. Your attention and your consideration has just been incredible, too. <coughs> and all of you on the board, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice yes. evening. I'm going to. Next on the agenda is the capital projects, completed and new projects. documents. This is this one that's printed out it's on both sides. Okay. Um, for the new tenants, um, not the new tenants, the new board members, we have six family homes that we do have. Um, they're all listed here except for one. One is didn't need too much stuff, and then I have the four complexes. And. Um, Probably every five years, I put in a plan, my projective plan, what I want to do, where, what needs to be done. But naturally, there's a lot of emer emergencies that come up in between time. So this is basically um, a list of things that I have been working on, uh, talking to the tenants in each complex and what they see is, you know, the need that they would like. Mm -hmm. Good. This page here, the longer pages, is kind of an extension. It kind of goes all one, all, um, if you put them side by side. Actually, I don't think those years, the year endings, um, came out on the copies. But as you can see, um, like the first one is the walkway repairs that has already been done. Mm -hmm. The intercom at Quarry Hill has been done. Um, I'm still working on um, the door security upgrades at Inward Commons is just about finished. The exterior component replacement, which is on Barnum Street, is in being worked on. The kitchen renovations at Tompkins is done. 
Um, interior res um, renovations on Lowell and Barnum Street is in the works. Roof replacement at Inward Commons is in the works. And then what they did was they added, um, DHCD added this, was I have what they call a federal Pacific panels at our Inward Commons. And they, um, they said that needs to be upgraded because that's a safety issue. So they threw that in before the Quarry Hill um, window replacement. So they want me to do that too because that's more of a safety issue before windows. And, and so you can see they have what is the dollar amount which they are projecting what each thing is. And then you see over on the other page the fiscal year and how they kind of spread out the money. I do, um, I just got an email about 45 minutes ago stating that they underestimated 2017 and they overestimated the year ending 2018. So, which tells me is that they've already run out of money for all <laughs> that they've already said for things to be done at the year end 2018. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed and I know um, the governor um, already had our the budget and I think they kinda, he rejected some of it and it was vetoed so I really don't know where it's going to now. Okay. So that's all, so hopefully. So at least half this list is done. This is my personal list that I have, which when I do inspections and I see certain things here and there, there is um, my maintenance just pulled out just recently too when he was walking around um, at Quarry Hill only that some decks need to be replaced. Um, definitely outside painting needs to be done. And there's also some pillars that are rotted. So that has to be, if I can do it piecemeal, I do it piecemeal if I have the money and the um, budget. Um, try not to hire contractors, usually the maintenance is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I am understaffed right now. I have both an office. Bless you, Mr. Um, thank you. I gotta ask you a question about that. Sure. Uh, did that, that Ryan, did he get hurt at Quarry Hill or any no. other place? No. So is he ever coming back? He is coming back. He just got her outside of work, and he is, he's going to be out probably another month. Really? Mm -hmm. For an ankle, huh? Wow. Yep. And I also had an office staff that took uh, a different position. So I'm down one office person and one maintenance person at the moment. You mean the part-time one? Yep. <laughs> so in regards to painting. Painting? The outside painting? Yeah. Okay. Um, is that something we could possibly look at with the sheriff's department? Like we contract with them since they, with, I know they have the special programs um, in which they have the pre-release individuals that they always come out. Yeah, I can call them again. Last time they came out, um, I forgot how much they wanted, like so much per guy per hour and it was a they, crazy They just amount. did the whole front landscaping at the senior center. Maybe Carolyn has some information on that. You know something, though? Uh, I'm sorry, I have to disagree with you on calling people from the sheriff department. I mean, I mean, if there was young people around here, maybe it would be different. There's a lot of old people, and those guys, you don't know what kind of people you're going to get to do something. Well, yeah. just to let you know. I mean, as a safety precaution. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know anything, okay? Oh, no. Just call me stupid. No, 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 you no, ain't. no, no. But no. just to save a few bucks. No, but one of the things, and I, and I have experience working with the Sheriff's Department in my prior years yeah, working in Massachusetts, and, and Danielle um, just mentioned about the senior set. They are supervised, mm -hmm. and um, they are watched and these are individuals before they have individuals that go out they pre-screen them they go through this whole criteria of things and and one of the things that the the sheriff's department with the programs that um, was done from um, former sheriff ash and now with sheriff kochi they do all these tremendous trainings to get these individuals once they're ready to be pre-released and get to come back into society 
they get them prepared so hopefully they do not get back into into the jail system um, <clears throat> once again so I can say from all the years that I dealt with them in the past there, there's never been an incident that's one thing that's always good is that there is always a sheriff on them you know watching supervising them so yes there could be that one point at one point in given time something may happen but I can almost say that nothing's a guarantee but I can say if, the, if there's some cost savings because you know, unfortunately with cutbacks from um, from the state and funding if there's some things in regards to the beautification that we can get some painting through the hallways or exterior I think the residents would like that and with the beautifications and so forth so I think that would possibly be a good you know one way of communication you know I don't have a problem of, of calling Sheriff Did Kochi. you ever call trade school? Trade schools you know because those, those kids are in there you could do that and see what you know, I mean, those so, kids, they, you know. Oh, yeah, there's all, there's all these alternatives that you can yeah. look out there yeah. and that you can look into. Um, but I don't, you know, more than I a trade school. I called a trade school years ago for something, and I can't remember what I called them for. Did they help you? No, something was, I'm trying to think of what it was. It was years ago. Is it trying to get credits from school or whatever that you can have? But a lot of them, the, the trade schools are like auto mechanics, mm. woodwork, and sheet what metals. painters. Yeah. yeah, I think I wanted them to build a shed. I think the shed for the for the tenant mm -hmm. association wanted the shed out here, and I think I was going to see if they would come out and build one. But they were so backed up for oh. years with people and yeah. mm -hmm. and um, requests that it wasn't. You know, the tenant association I think uh, I needed that at that, that point needed it sooner than. than Can I ask a question? No. <laughs> Go ahead, ask a question. No, they can't, they no. can't, they can't ask no, a question they yet. can't at the end. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Just remember. Uh, anything else on the capital projects? Any questions from the board? So this this list, we see it every, every now and again. Is it ever updated? It sounds like someone from the state helped create it. Do they come back and update this list, and how often do they, they do that? Well, you just, we usually do it once a year. As, um, as the projects get closed out, once all the money is ex expended and um, all the reports are done, then we usually close it out and then eventually it gets off the system and then the new ones get generated. Okay. Like you can see the ones, like these are all my active and like I said, I have to, these are going to be closed. The ones that I finished up will be closed and then like it, like um, the walkways, it says May 26, 2015. Well, that's, it went into um, uh, this year. So that's why it was still open, but it is closed. All the ones that I said have been completed, are completed, they will get closed. I, I believe I do that next month. I mean, the ones like 2015, those are done, right? They're done now, yes. Okay. Even though they say active, but DHCD, when it come, when 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 does all the stuff for DHCD, they'll end up closing it. Um, once it's all complete, you have to expend all that money. So DHCD, when then we'll check it off and close it off. And How come. about the sixteen ones? Um, the active. Everything says active. The doors. The door security upgrades, okay, that's, that's done, right? Okay, that's just, that's, it's not complete yet. It'll be done probably by the end of the year. Okay. The one that says Barnum Street, Tompkins, Lowell, Barnum, that's still in the works. And roof replacement and inward commons. Um, did you get the money for that? Yes, you, you did? yes. They haven't started the project yet, but the architect and everybody is doing their due diligence to get it moving. <laughs> before the first snow fall. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that hasn't been started yet are the last three. That was the Federal Pacific panels? Mm hmm And those are safety issues? Yep. They want on me to start year, them next they year. They say they're going to have money for on the Coriel uh, windows. That's an estimate for 2017. It can't be an estimate for 2020. That estimate there that shows, that's only for three buildings. 
the hundred and forty three thousand dollars yeah yeah that's only three building mm -hmm. man you got a lot more than three buildings here I know <laughs> I know but I just got to keep plugging all right. Thank you. Any other questions? Next on the agenda is McLaren House Open House. Yes. Just to let everybody know, I'll give everybody a flyer. I got an invitation. You already got one? Yeah. McLaren House is having um, an open house. They are, um, even though they're under our umbrella, they are run under Greater Springfield Senior Services. And they um, um, are just having an open house, have people come. They want tenants come. I think they've kind of invited, I don't even know if they put in um, anything out in the paper. I think they did. But just to get people over there to see what it's like. Um, when it was built in the 80s, it was kind of a new, up and new coming thing before assisted living ever started. And people loved it and a lot of people transferred from our regular units to the congregate and it just kept them out of nursing homes rest mm -hmm. homes things mm -hmm. like that since assisted living started um, I think more people are staying in their own homes and then going right into assisted living um, there isn't 24-hour care but they do are provided a lunch five days a week and um, their apartments are smaller, and they do have a lot of interaction there, which is really kind of nice. Is there availability, any open units there at this time? There is, I believe there's one open unit. Okay. Does it have to, it can be from a surrounding town, correct? Oh, it correct. can be anybody yep. from, okay. I didn't know how she took her applications. They go through you, right, the applications? Yes. They have to have a tour first. Mm -hmm before we give them an application, only because a lot of people right. um, really need to see the setup. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people, I mean, sometimes we'll have, you know, family members saying, mm -hmm. oh yeah, my mother will love this, my father, my uncle, and then they go there and they're like, no way. <laughs> yeah, right. It's very, it's different. It is different. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not for everybody. It, correct. <laughs> but they have right. their own it does work for a lot of people. Though. Yes. I like what she said. They have their own bathroom. They mm -hmm. do. The trouble with that, you have to have a community shower outside on the hallway there. But sometimes yeah. for like safety issues, that's not a bad thing. Huh? You know, having a community shower. Yeah, but you don't of, want, uh, in the hallway, you don't want. Oh, with the, yes, I see what you're saying. She was right about that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know. I mean, if you go out there and you're skibbies, I mean, <laughs> unless you're a, you're a porno star. You know? <laughs> no, they have. Um, uh, don't worry, the there's bathroom? no video cameras in the bathroom. Otherwise, it'd be in violation. <laughs> no, I don't mean the bathroom. I mean in the hallway when they go take a shower. That's right. what she meant. Yeah. But yeah, I can understand I'm not too point, sure yeah. exactly. I'm, as far as I know, there is no camera in the hallway. I will have to go over there and look. I believe it's in the community area. Um, they are in the community areas. They are um, the first set of cameras that we got. I had it set up. It basically is where the money's at. It's kind of like in the laundry rooms, the office, the. Um, garages it's kind of all where the money just in case if anything gets broken into or stolen it's where the money was Safety. now yeah. now we're looking more like um, um, just more like safety in the mm -hmm. area the sidewalks and and making sure um, you know just people moving mm -hmm. in and out you know, if there is a stranger walking around, maybe I might be able to catch him on a camera or right. something. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of, I mean, I don't have them everywhere and anywhere, but I do, you know, I got a little bit of money last year, so I, I put up a few just basically. For safety. Yeah, yep. for parking lots mm -hmm. and sidewalks and that type Make of people thing. people feel a little bit better. But there hasn't been any incidents here either. No. No, I mean, there's I been I mean, with things, the police station across the street. Yeah, there's been things that have been taken, but yeah, it's nothing too still significant. <laughs> I, I understand, but I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. If somebody wants to take something, they're going to take it anyway. Yeah. 
I mean, thank you for I that. I got plenty of value in my place. <laughs> Uh, next on the agenda is the Village Green Tenant Association bylaws. Mm, all right. So, anyways, if you guys can go to the open house, yeah. it'd be great. Okay. Um, I know you guys probably don't realize this, but I had a um, the Village Green hadn't had an a tenant association in a few years, and I had a few women approach me about a year ago wanting to start one up and it never came around to fruition. So I went down and kind of, you know, talked to them mm -hmm. about issues down there, safety issues, mm -hmm. capital improvement issues I talked to them about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, to see if anything down there needs to be done. And, um, and I got some tenants very interested in starting the association. So they sure. came up with bylaws. And the bylaws have to go through the board. So if you guys want to take a few minutes and just read them, um, they do have to be approved. Um, just to let you know, the only thing that I see, because um, I just had the privilege of um, seeing this right before we came in, is on number three, because they're just starting right now, they wrote commencing now, present through December of 2019. They really don't need to put that in there because this will be their bylaws from this day forward. It could be for five, 10 years until they want to change their bylaws again. So to me, I would say commencing, you know, for two years, I wouldn't even say commencing. I would say the officer shall serve a two year period and that's it. And the Village Green Tenant Association shall present a slate of officers in November of the second year. I don't think they need commencing January now, present through December. I think they can eliminate that. And that's all I could see that. Well, I think what they may say is whoever, maybe the officer, that they want to have a two years and then have a vote and have somebody else be the officer for the two years. Right. That's what I'm thinking. That's, I think that's what they meant. That's how, how, how I'm reading it. That you know, he, he, here you got the bylaws, but I think they're looking to have a turnover every two years, and who who may be the right. I understand that, but it's the commencing now, present through December 2019. That's just what I want to eliminate. It. I think if they eliminate that, I think it's fine. Okay. Why they can't have it right now if they want? Because this can be their bylaws, say for the next 10 years or 15 years. They already put December of 2019 on there. It really is not. They want officers for two years. They can have it two years. It seems like they want to, you know, start from January to December anyways. This is 18, though. 18 next year. Does the word common sense that are bylaws? Yes. So they I mean the tenants association? Yes. Who's in charge of that? The bylaws? No, the tenants association. They have a group down there. Yeah, you but mean? who's in charge? Oh, the president? Yeah. Down there? There's um I can give you the name after. Yeah, you guys and I, I, I had to make a comment here, but you give me stuff to read here. And the new commission is supposed to be introduced to a lot of the people and taken to all the properties, see what they're like and everything else. So, Yeah, uh, usually we do that when we have a very short agenda. We will, and if I have empty units. I'm just wondering if it's, uh, it's going to happen. You know? It will. I'm reading the stuff, but, you know. So there's going to be $24 dues. What if they cannot pay their $24 dues? Or they 24. decide not oh. to, they're not part Why of? 24 anyway? At two dollars a month. Yep. Um, Does that mean that four dollars? I think that's normal. That usually what they have. What? Actually, you know what? They have the twenty-four dollar dues. Let me see if that's included in here. But I don't. Um, let me make a little note. Usually, with the twenty-four dollars, that includes a picnic and a Christmas party. So it's towards. So it's kind of like. Their Right, right. That's okay. Um, and then if they do anything else, then sometimes they don't have to pay for the Christmas party. Nope. 
if you're part of the tenant association. I, I think this is excellent. I am so okay. happy. I've had people actually express um, to me out of the blue that their satisfaction with this happening. So I think this is great. Oh, good. The only concern I have is number eleven. Okay. I, I just just don't like debit cards. <laughs> I did see that. I wasn't too sure if they had one. I, that that's my only concern mm -hmm. is that who would be responsible to review the books since that that's my concern is any missing money if you have you know 50 I'm just throwing out a number if you have 50 residents that are part of um, this uh, tenant association so 50 times $24 is over a thousand dollars per se that who is realistically looking at the financials on a monthly basis or on a quarterly basis <laughs> I think I got the answer afterwards and which I'll open it up but that would be my only concern right now is the financial aspects of making sure that there's no missing money okay um, normally what happens with um, I I normally get a treasurer's report and uh, the minutes Okay, so you I lose. do, but I don't get it monthly. They don't give them to me monthly or anything like that. Um, I mean, they, have a, they don't have a tenants association yet, right? They, they do not. <clears throat> These have to be voted in first, and then once they get voted in, they can go ahead and get it moving. Um, I would say, right, the treasurer has that ability of writing the checks in the debit, I am assuming during every meeting they do have their treasurer's report, but who is also double checking the treasurer's report? That's what you're getting at. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, debit cards could be, you could easily just withdraw funds on a debit card, in which, you know, I would hate to see somebody mistakenly taking extra funds uh, I'm looking out for the tenants so I would like to have making mm -hmm. sure that they have funds there for their parties or a little bus trip to Mohegan Sun. <laughs> okay, I can put um, that up to the tenant associations that they should have a double yeah I, I would probably they they trust each other there yeah I, I rather yeah. have some you know why don't they just Somebody get a credit card balance. for the club but same thing, credit card. They could just run it all up. I, I, they can because it's just, you can't run it up. You, you know, well, if you get a five thousand dollar limit, you can run up that credit it's, card. It's probably just out of convenience, right? I would imagine, right? Because there are places that you can't use a check. Right. I'm sure it's difficult, so they'd have to just think it forward. That's all. I do give them a letter. Um, the tenant association gets a letter from me stating that they are a tenant association under the housing authority. Oh, that they bring with them. And then I do give them, like, the tax, tax exempt, exempt. Num number so mm -hmm. they can buy their supplies like that. Yeah, I, I would just maybe, you know, so number, a little bit more clarity in number to number three and to number 11. So that can be taken, you know. I think we have the gist of everything that they have in here, and so that okay. next month board meeting, if those two items are cleaned up, I'm sure we I can get a, a motion to accept um, the Village Green Tenant Association bylaws. All right. Well, is there any way I can get a motion now if I have it removed, or do it has to come back? Like if they have an issue with it, I will have to come back. But if they don't, can I just sign off on it? Somebody's willing to give me a motion. <laughs> <laughs> I no. second the motion. No, somebody's got to make the motion. I can't make the motion. I'll make the motion. The motion, you got to you got to state what, what, how you want. For to the tenants association, uh, at Village Green, I. If they remove debit cards. Remove debit card and remove uh, uh, number three. The, the office shall serve for two years period, commencing next year. Okay. Do I have I'll a second? Second the motion. Any further discussion? Not hearing any. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye's got it. Yes. That's good, because if they agree to it, then I can get the sign, and then they can get moving on it. Because I know Perfect. they're very anxious. No. Yes. That's good. Good. Left. 
And I think yeah. if, if everything goes well, you know, maybe whoever is the new president, if the president would like to come to the next month's uh, board meeting to at least introduce, meet, herself, introduce herself, introduce yes. her or himself to the board, and yep. at least he or she can also get to know who the board is also. So. I think that's really good move. All right, next on the agenda, charge card. <laughs> Here we go, thinking of it. <laughs> Um, at the moment, the Housing Authority does not have a charge card, and so far, 99% of the time, I've been able to get around it either being billed or um, having a, um, a company card, like a Home Depot card or a Staples card, mm -hmm. and just using that. But it's getting a little bit more difficult, especially if we can find things online cheaper mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you need to order and you need a charge mm -hmm. card um, so I'm just kind of putting it out there I don't know if the senior center does no but it's always been one of those things that has <laughs> held up a lot of proactive stuff that we've tried to do right. yes it's difficult without one so as I as I can <sighs> intervene you know as being an executive director I do have a charge card on behalf of the housing authority so um, because of all mm -hmm. my traveling is the same thing if I'm ordering supplies from my maintenance guys whatever it may be 100% when you're doing a lot of things that you save on mm -hmm. amazon.com or whatever um, to the credit cards but um, I would state if to the board if there is a motion is that um, I believe we use people's bank here mm -hmm. um, like where I am we go through our Webster bank in which I have a visa business card so I'm sure if People's Bank has a Visa card, it could be a Visa business, and what it should be saying is Lynn Booth, East Line Mental Housing Authority, just like uh, my my credit card has my name with the Housing mm -hmm. Authority. Um, so for business trips and everything else, for hotels, you know, they, they no longer take checks. So, right. you know, um, that that's a good thought because if it has to have my name on it, does that mean I'm liable? So I better like have that underneath my protection at all well time. it's it's uh, you're like you know you you will be you know like i keep mine on me but um you know you can keep it on yourself or keep it under lock and key in the office but you know with the uh fraudulent uh, insurance that we have that you're bonded and all that stuff you know yeah. the thing yeah. is, well, so. but when she applies for credit does she have to apply for it with her social security card her number and everything like it will me? go on her credit history yeah. and uh I think it does. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So I don't, maybe I what I, maybe what I'll do is I'll call the bank. I'll <laughs> yeah, call, call People's and I'll call ask people's them. Bank. Yeah, I can't recall when I did mine four years yeah. ago. You better call Manor. I just think I remember filling out applications to be required. That, and that's, yeah. that's kind I, of I as far as we got in the senior center. You don't? It was like, okay, nope, not going to do that. Yeah, the thing that's under the bit, yeah, I'm not going to say, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, if you call people, if you call People's Bank, well, first, let's get a motion. I would say call People's <laughs> Bank. You know, right? Because if it's under the East Line Metal Housing Authority, um, and then the bill would come to the Housing Authority and they would pay the bill, you know. But if it had my name on it, yeah. I no, just well, well mine. I know my bills comes under the Manchester, you know, under the Housing Authority. Yeah. So um, I'm sure where you do. Me being the only one to sign, I can say okay, I agree with that. But yeah, that's kind of like yeah. So I'll look into that. Yeah. So, do I hear a motion for Lynn to contact People's Bank <laughs> to look for a visa for business, to, uh, to, look to look for, for a business, business uh, visa card? Visa card. Okay. I'll second. So, you making that motion? I'm making it. Okay. <laughs> J James second. I thought I made that motion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right oh, okay. I was just repeating it right after you. No so. problem. <laughs> she talks um, like she doesn't want to speak, but that's all right. Uh, any further discussion? <laughs> Not hearing any. All in favor? I'm Aye. getting red done now. <laughs> Oppose? Aye, he's got it. Next on the agenda is the Commissioner Handbook. Everybody got their yes. thing? Yeah, I got it. I brought this because I think I forgot to punch it. <laughs> Very helpful. Yes. <laughs> I think the first one I sent out punched. The second one I think I forgot. Um, great job. I just received a big book from 
Mass Narrow. I got the Leo Dowers handbook about that big. That's it. Oh, is that the whole? Oh, is that? Yeah, okay. that's it. So, Same you're okay. Leo oh, okay, so, Jen, so, I, you don't need to send me anyone because I got the big, thick copy. <laughs> I don't okay. read it. I read that thing inside and out. Yeah, right. I got pictures <laughs> Uh, um, anybody have, did anybody get a chance to read it? Anybody have any questions? Well, I read some. I didn't get a chance to give me the one you gave me yesterday. But I read the first uh, was it 20 pages or 30 pages. A lot of stuff in there. You have to be a lawyer. I can, I can only think of what pertains to me. And the, the last the, the beginning of the other 20 pages that I started reading, something like the first 20 pages I already read. So I don't know if that continues in a lot of it. Well, Kiki Lawa. If you have any Lawa. questions, you can always contact Lynn or you can contact me. Yeah, I'd be I more than glad to I just to asked this question. Now she answered it once about meeting the people and going to the places, see what the places are like and what mm -hmm. needs to be done. Yeah, every once in we'll do that in a while. Okay. Yeah. Usually, so if we have a fun. short agenda, so, and I know I have empty apartments. Yeah. Like one time, I think the last time we went, I think I had an empty apartment in like each place, so we mm -hmm. kind of went all around and just like checked everything this out. This is the second installment. The other thing that we do also <laughs> is um, at least once a year, sometimes twice a year, we go to the other complexes and we have a board meeting there. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a little convenient for people that don't drive or can't mm -hmm. walk here. Well, the ones on here are going to walk here. All right. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a meeting of the, for the new commissioners. I got that part somewhere. Or maybe it's for everybody because they got all this stuff. Now. No, it was for um, a tenant commissioner. It was a training, a special training, just for tenant commissioners that, in March. That's right. Right. That's I don't what know I gave you. To come or... No, no because be you're, you're a tenant. You're the tenant commissioner. Yeah. So well, the only place. You're not that... a tenant commissioner. What is... <laughs> commissioner, you're the tenant. You there? He's sitting there, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know. I'm just a wise guy, so get used to it. Um, I do need to know, though. <laughs> I do need to know. Um, this is also a great resource. Is our um, narrow newsletter, and I guess what I'd like to know is if you guys get this. Do they send it to you? Yeah. Email? I okay. do not get that. Okay. So I will. Do you have an email? Email. Yeah. No. Uh, Do you? Well, it doesn't. Yeah, I got it. I see you, so I can give it to you. Okay, you can give it. I get easier. mine. I get mine. So just make sure then Al gets a copy of okay. the. Uh, you, know, um, you can get in touch with Jen at Mass Narrow. And, I will, because this gets emailed to me, so okay. I'll just forward right. it to you, yeah. and then just let me know once you start getting it. That way, there you, know, you won't get double. Get okay. This is you too. No. Brutus. No, that's for the tenant commissioners. Right. She's a tenant commissioner. No, she doesn't live here. A tenant has to live oh, here. Oh, okay. All right. I get it now. They got rules for people to live here, too. <laughs> I got a whole book here. Right? Um, so next month, board meeting is being changed right. to... Okay. Um, next I think it's a Tuesday. Whatever you well, Right. Was it the 19th or something? Okay. Um, I do have the paper that Joe read this morning regarding. Okay. Yes. So you can have that for your own. Oh, this is the one he read. Okay. Yes. Yes. Some more rules. Um, the next meeting, I don't have it in front of me. I thought it was like the 19th of December. Yes. December. It was like the 4:30 on the 19th. Yeah. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Yes. Only because write the accountant. But I will tell you right now, um, usually what happens is we have what we call budget guidelines that the um, that gets set by the Department of Housing and mm -hmm. they send it to us and it basically tells us what they will allow and what they won't allow in our budget. 
sometimes they'll give us a zero percent budget which is we have to be status quo sometimes they'll you know they'll make it a one percent two percent i mean hopefully we might get a three <laughs> percent that's what i'm praying mm -hmm. and you know so then i can at least get some extra you know items done on our list um, sometimes they do throw something else out there like one time they had a health and safety thing so anything that I could think of that was health and safety wise they gave me a little bit of pot of money to do something like that um, but usually in the budget guidelines it tells us it tells me what mm -hmm. I need to do and that has not we usually get it by now and usually the accountant looks at that him and I sit together kind of figure mm -hmm. out what we want to do as a budget then we present it to the board mm -hmm. for approval and usually that gets done usually Gary comes in the accountant in November oh, so um, it gets approved and sent out because my budget um, year starts January so I have a January not even be happening in December it may not even be happening in okay. December so right now we are going to keep that put a question mark on day yeah I mean right now everybody was fine with it I just may keep it um, mm -hmm. even though Gary may or may not be here he may just get pushed off to January okay. but we well, never we know. got another question I mean this is stuff I found out of course I'm not supposed to speak for the guy but there's a guy with a wheelchair he needs a rolling shower over there I don't know if he, needs a, he needs a contact correct I'm already working on that. You can You're talk working to on it? That's you can good. talk to me after about that. Yeah, I yeah, have I someone mean, coming I in. I didn't yep. want to say anything, but no. All right. Um, you know, that guy's got a legal right, by the way. Well, right, before, that I know. Yeah. Well, that's before, one thing I know. Well, before I close out, we do have two young, lovely ladies here, and I'll <laughs> open it up to them if they have anything to say. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your time. Now you're able to speak. I forgot what oh, it no. was. I, I had the piece of paper ready. I was going to give it to you. You have a question. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. She forgot. Senior moment? That's okay. Oh, dear. It's on my t I just thought of it, too. Um, oh, when you... I think you mentioned that the court people... You have to pay them. The sheriff's, the sheriff's department. department. You have to pay the sheriff's department, the sheriff. not the people. Right. We yes. pay the because we they're on or or a law. Parole, actually. Yeah. yeah. What 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 happens is you pay, you know, because they That's work and the, the individuals will Should get some type of wages the from the sheriff's department. Well, we make the payment to the sheriff's department. Oh. And then they give them, you know, a little stipend um, for the work that they do. Oh, so. but I thought it might be less community service, yeah. and there would be no charge for that because they have to That's right. earn it in hours, not in money. Well, you may be confused. Right now, I have a trial court here that comes at least once a week, sometimes mm -hmm. twice a week yes. since Ryan's been yes. out. That is people who have to do community service. Right. So that's free. Oh, so they're okay. here all the time. The sheriff's department is more like pre-release, okay. and a lot of these people are carpenters, electricians, painters, you know, yeah. and they are being pre-released, and what they do is they try to get them back viable, and they come and they do work just to get them back into the Society. workforce again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm all for those cameras, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because we did see a man before the cops. Good. Some guy in the woods. So I'm glad you found the guy. He's walking right up there, by the way. The guy, the, I, he's are like, they're not in our area. area house? What's that? The cameras, they're not in our area, right? Not at the moment. Just the clearing house. We it's, got our own camera, no. don't worry. Yeah, we no. got our own house. <laughs> 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 thank you, dear. Well, ladies, thank you for coming. Okay, You're always more than welcome to come every, every month to our meeting. So thank you for coming and seeing what the Housing Authority does. So I yes. think you guys would have more questions. But I, didn't, I didn't even know there was a meeting, so I don't know if you posted it on it's the board. It's posted board. on the bulletin board in the, by the laundry room so over here. Tonight, really? Yeah, it's been up there. Yeah. I have another question. Sure. Well, stop for About the bonds that you have. The, um, the bonds? The, don't you have a bond? The bonds that they put the money from it, that you were going to do some um, special things 
and they put it in the, it's not a bond, is it? No, it's just from the state. There's no bond on that. Are you talking about like monies that I get? They appropriate. It's, it's capital improvement. No. The capital okay. improvement money? No. It was something that went into something that's like a savings. And I just wondered why they took it away from you and moved it over into this. And now I'm sorry. That's I a state that does that. I don't know. I'm not too I sure. know they do it with other um, uh, um, boards. I don't know. You mean well, if they bond? Saying. You mean if they bond some money? If they if they get yeah. some they, money, they bond it. So yeah, money in a bond. It. Yeah, we are, we don't. And do then that. when the bond reaches a certain amount of money, they can cash in the whole thing for something. No, we don't do anything like that. Okay. That's what I got out of it. <laughs> nothing on a safety issue. You okay with that? No, I'm not a safety issue. <laughs> right. If there's nothing else, is she gonna okay. come back now? <laughs> well, I'm we just all concerned because they take the money away done. from her all the time. Right. Um, she's she wanted my resume. I said, Jesus, I didn't realize that I had another boss on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> since there's no. I other... said hi to her because I says, you know, she, if she didn't remember me apparently, and maybe she's. Uh, Weaving, you know. Since if there's no other business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. And you gotta do everything she told oh, you to do. I'll yeah. make a motion. Do I hear a second? <laughs> second that. Any other? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 And it's 5:36 p.m. Thank you. Thank you.